We are going to explain our expectations going into this keto diet, um, considering this is our first time ever doing this. It is new to us. Um, we eat a lot of carbs, I want to say beforehand, and now we're going to cut carbs out. So, so, what do you expect, I guess? This, uh, this journey or adventure or lifestyle change, um, it seems a little, a little shocking or scary because... You know, my entire life I've I've been a carbs person. Like I've never I've never purposely tried not eating carbs and right. to a lot of the things that I eat on a day to day basis are carbs. I enjoy sandwiches, I enjoy wraps, I enjoy chips. Chips, fruits. Like all of those things have a decent amount of carbs in them. And so just switching from that to this is just like a whole nother like ball game change for me. But you know, at the same time, I am personally excited about it, you know, because a lot of the other benefits that they talk about when you do keto, like um, keto is very good for like being better and focusing. Like it helps your brain be more productive. It stops like memory deteriorating diseases and things like that and that part i am excited about but the no carbs part is, is actually a challenge right it's not gonna come easy whatsoever um it's going to be an actual challenge and so i think we should just take it by week by week or day by day honestly to make sure we don't skip from it because recently we've been doing like the diet changes and we've skewed from them quite often. So I'm hoping that we can stick to yeah. this specific lifestyle change. Right. We're giving it at least like this trial period we want to do at least a month. Right. At least. And, you know, if it turns into something that we really enjoy, I can see us, you know, continuing, continuing. for a while. And if, you know, there's a lot of significant changes that are, like, beneficial, I see no reason not to continue. But, you know, they always say with diets, the first, like, two weeks are, like, the worst part. Worst part. part. Like, Awful. It's going to suck no matter what you do to try to prevent it. Right. And, um, but this, this seems, like, even more dramatic to me because, like, you're switching the way your body fuels itself like your body has to you know create new pathways to absorb more ketones and not carbs and your liver starts to make more glucose and like all these scientific things that happen when you go into ketosis and I feel like that's gonna be a major draw on like how much I enjoy the job the diet but I still plan to try my best do you think that's your big challenge what you mean like coping with the drastic change yeah because i feel like i don't know i don't know how it's gonna affect me like i i can't, I can't be sure until until i'm there and so I it just think. seems like it's gonna be drastic but you never know it might not it might be like starting any other diet right doesn't you're just hungry for the first two weeks you right. want to go back to eating regular and then yeah exactly so you make I'm, it or break it i'm just hoping that we end up doing Doing well on this one. As well. I, I think my biggest challenge is going without the copious amounts of sugar. Mm -hmm. I want fruits. I want chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. Like. And I, I keep trying to tell you, you can have all these things. But I don't want a They small make piece. fake sugar. Oh, I know that. But I mean, you know. Like. Diet, diet. The only thing chocolate. you couldn't do is like the fruits. But. The fruits is what I'm most upset about, honestly. I really was craving strawberries for the past couple of days. And I didn't want to get a pack of strawberries uh, knowing that we're going to switch yeah. our diet over or the way we eat. So the fruits thing, I also wanted some apple slices. Can't do that either. All right, we have to go with cucumbers instead of apples. Right, so that was kind of disappointing. It was really disappointing um, because we've done the counting calories thing before and that way we were able to eat 
anything we wanted just in smaller portions, whereas this we have to actually detail watch what we eat right. instead of just the calorie counting. Like, we can't eat carbs. Yeah, calorie counting is pretty, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty easy. You just got to stick to it. Like, right. And that's the hardest thing with a lot of diets, though. But, I mean, calorie counting is pretty simple. I mean, we're still counting our calories, but we're our also counting our carbs. Our main concern is cur it's carbs. Right. Then calories come next. Right. And so, our meal plan, it has a set at about 1,500 um, calories. Generally. Per day. Around that range, like it varies a little bit, but um, you know, so 15 far. to 18, and that's usually where we like to stay personally. Like, we can the, the 1200, like, I don't know, I just don't feel like my body, I'm slim enough to do that one yet. Our stomachs aren't are really stretched out at, at this point in time, and it just honestly feels like we're starving ourselves if we try to jump straight to 1200, right. But yeah, we'll give you guys, you know, updates. Probably we'll try to do a video every week. Can't guarantee you that because, you know, school is picking up. You know, I'm working a lot recently, so I might not have that much time to edit the videos. But we're going to try to, you know, one video a week showing, you know, probably give you like a day of eating and, you know, our thoughts on the diet, you know, as time progresses. Stay wavy. Stay wavy.